Hi guys, it's Stephanie. Um, I apologize first off for the glare. Um, I have a couple of photo frames uh, with vinyl and well this one is a shadow box but anyways there's glass um, so there's going to be a glare from my lighting in here. And um, I made a, a couple of projects with my Silhouette Cameo. You guys may remember um, in one of my videos, or I think a couple of them actually, oops, I talked about um, wanting to get a Brother Scannon cut um, because I was tired of having to buy the coordinating dies to go with all of these super cute stamp sets that we're all picking up, and the die sets usually cost twice as much as the stamp set, and that gets really expensive after a while. So, anyways, um, long story short, I did not get the Brother Scanning Cut from HSN, uh, because apparently that deal had sold out after I had placed my purchase, and they kept moving back the delivery date, which all that did was make me mad, and then give me enough time to, um, really regret buying it. And um, so I decided there had to be another way, and lo and behold, there was um, a solution that I already had. I had the Silhouette Cameo and um, was not aware of the fact uh, until I started Googling it that you can actually do the exact same thing as the Brother Scan and Cut um, using. I think I showed this in one of my last hauls. This um, this is just the cover paper that came with it. The um, Silhouette Pick Scan uh, mat, and it's got registration marks on it. I don't know if you can see here. It's got registration marks on the mat. Um, you can either lay it in your flatbed scanner. You know, you. Here's what I did. I stamped out a bunch of images on just a piece of cardstock paper. This was just a test run. Um, actually, I used um, Copic Quality. I was trying to see if this was watercolor paper, but I think this is just Copic Quality 110 pound weight paper. It's pretty thick. And um, you put it on your mat and you take the picture, make sure your entire mat is in the uh, picture. Excuse my fingers, I've inked up from that. But um, take the picture either with your um, phone or your camera, or you can lay it on a flatbed scanner, the entire uh, pic scan mat, lay it on a flatbed scanner, um, send it to your computer, and then open it through your Silhouette software program. And I will link you to the video um, that I found the most helpful. It was straight to the point. Um, Dawn Nicole, I believe her name was, um, if I'm not saying that backwards. Nicole Dawn. No, I think it was Dawn Nicole. Um, anyways, I'll put the link down below in case you're interested in watching. She made it very easy for me to just bing, bang, boom, done, understood. Um, if you guys want me to do a demo of how I did it, um, my machine said, because I was using this thicker weight paper, uh, the first test run, I tried to cut it out, wasn't paying attention to the cut settings, you know, my bad, that's just how I do things, I just jump right in and then wing it and go, oops, yeah, that was wrong. Um, as you can see, did not cut out, like, at all, because I was using plain cardstock setting on my Silhouette machine. So the second go around, I used the same paper, but I used... Um, the recommended settings, I think it was, uh, oh, I wrote it down somewhere, cover, cover stock was the name of it, which I don't, I have no idea what cover stock is, but it said it was for 105 to 122 pound weight paper, and, you know, I thought, okay, that's, you know, got to be it, because this is pretty thick. And it said to put your blade setting down or up to a 9, and I was scared I would cut through the paper and cut my mat. So I went conservative and put it on a 7, but I should have listened to them, because apparently they know what they're talking about. Because I don't know if you can see it here on the edges, 
it's got some little tear away pieces where it didn't quite cut through um, and you can also um, I was testing this out to see um, how far from the uh, stamp the black stamp line I wanted like this side you see there's a lot more white and then this side I did it a little more narrow and I wanted to see which one I like better and I definitely like the more narrow and then on this character um, I moved him over as far as I could to um, almost eliminate the white outline completely I mean it's completely up to you how close or how far away you want to do your cutouts but um, yeah I am absolutely in love with my silhouette cameo again and this is the time of year where I usually drag it out and start making vinyl and um, I made a couple of things this is for a dog rescue organization um, that um, one of the uh, people that runs it he came up with something using the Batman Dark Knight um, so everyone knows and replace the Batman symbol with a French Bulldog up here and um, I bought these images these two um, through Silhouette the Batman and uh, this actually had the Batman symbol in here but I just took it out and replaced it with that French Bulldog and I'm gonna be sending this to them um, in a little bit um, this is just a five dollar frame I picked up at Hobby Lobby and the next item I made was um, this shadow box. That's what's got me all inky. Um, this shadow box, uh, I've had this, I picked it up last year. Um, I was looking on the back to see. The, yeah, this is from Michaels. It's just a plain white plastic frame. And I know I picked it up on the cheap at Michaels because I have three of them. And um, it's a shadow box got about a one and a half inch depth in there and um, I cut out the vinyl um, the silver and this is just my own I didn't buy any uh, font from silhouette or anything I just went into the scripts I had and uh, printed out a holy night and this star was in another image that I just detached and placed there and the manger scene in the back is just black cardstock and that is also a silhouette image and let me remove some of the glare that background I just went with plain um, blue cardstock this one and was like no that's just no I was not at all happy with that so I took some white cardstock and um, used um, my Tim Holtz Distress Inks in Black Soot, um, Seedless Preserves, uh, what else did I use, Salty Ocean, Broken China, and Stormy Sky, and just inked that up, um, and then went over the background with my um, Glimmer Mist in Dazzling Diamonds, and um, dried it with my heat gun, and then glued in some little sequins and stuff and did some paint splatter with um, silver and white acrylic paints and um, the manger scene I just laid flat but I popped up um, Joseph and Mary and uh, baby Jesus and really happy with how this turned out I'm hoping I've got one of those little ink scrubbies so far nothing that's coming off but um, I have to quit touching the outside of this because I'm smudging it um, but I think this is going to be a gift for someone. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I am having a lot of fun with my Silhouette Cameo and learning all the new things. This is also a cut file um, that I got from the Silhouette Design Store. And it's a little one of those little houses uh, ornament. It's supposed to be kind of like this. One of those little ornaments you can glitter it up as much or as little as you want add decorations oh and two other projects i put them aside um with vinyl um this acrylic box i think this either came from michael's or the acrylic i mean the acrylic store um the container store i think this might actually have come from the container store 
and um, this is a silhouette cut file that I've had for a while and just cut out Santa Claus and put him on the side I was just playing around with that and here's another cut file December 25 except I set it too low and too far to the left I was concentrating on Santa Claus and went way off over here too far but um, filled it with some of the little styrofoam fake snowballs from uh, Dollar Tree and there's some sequins and stuff in there that you really can't see because of that fake styrofoam snow which I really like that look in there but uh, if you have a silhouette cameo get it out and um, get yourself a pic scan mat I picked that up at Hobby Lobby I don't know if I already said that at Hobby Lobby for $14.99 and I used my 40% off coupon so it was only $10 um, after taxes and you can um, stop buying all of the um, dies for your stamp sets so I hope you guys are having a happy crafty weekend and I'm sure you will see more videos for me with more projects talk to you later bye